So what could I have possibly learned from a mother of seven children in church on Sunday to help me with my real estate business? This is Tad Fulton with Rise Up in Real Estate, and I hope you'll stick around to find out. So after church on Sunday, my wife and I were having a discussion with someone in our church that we knew had a lot of kids. We have five kids, and that's a lot of kids. We have three under the age of five. Five, three, and two now. And when we met someone who had seven, it's like we needed to get down on our hands and knees and worship the ground that she walked on. First thing my wife asked her was, did you have all seven of these? Hope you don't mind me asking, but did you have all seven of these children yourself? And the lady said, yes, I did. Within a 10-year period, I had seven children myself. No twins, all individual births. And those of you that are moms and dads out there know, wow, alone mind what kind of a life that that person has lived. And so my wife's face just said it all. I mean, she just had this look of awe and respect on her face in this situation. And what said, what my wife said, how in the world did you do it? And what the lady said to her was so profound, it is actually starting to affect other areas of my life. She said to her, Mandy, when your children go from being consumers to contributors, when they hit the age that they're no longer only consuming from you, but they're actually contributing to your family, it is a game changer. And she's exactly right. So we have a five-year-old that has started to do that. We have a three-year-old that started to contribute to our family. It's not all about get, 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 need, need, need. We have a two-year-old, though, that still is, I would say, on the consumer end of the spectrum because he has to, he can't do anything by himself yet all the way. So he is totally consuming, consuming, consuming. If we didn't do things for him, he wouldn't exist. He's dependent on us, right? But as they become more of a contributor, things actually start to take a little bit of a different turn. Things become easier in this situation. No diapers, no bottles, no passies, sleeping on their own, right? So as I thought about this the rest of the Saturday, Sunday afternoon, you never know what you're going to hear in church. I began to analyze other areas of my life and how this consumer contributor spectrum played out specifically in real estate. And today I wanted to ask you the question, in your real estate business, as you are, or in any business, as you are in that business, are you primarily a consumer or are you a contributor? More specifically, in the brokerage that you sit in now, do you simply just sit back and consume whatever the broker throws at you, whatever speakers, coaches, HGTV, websites, podcasts, blogs throw at you? Do you just always consume social media? Or are you actually, like some of you I know, are contributing to the fray? Does your podcast exist? Does your contribution on social media really make a difference? Are you adding to the office that you sit in every day as a real estate agent? Does the broker and the brokerage and the other agents in that office know that you exist because you contribute so much to the well-being of that office that it just has your stamp on it, your fingerprint on the office? It's a tough question to answer. If you are, really tough one to ask yourself, but ask yourself, if you are primarily a consumer, are you being a burden to the people that you're around? If you were a contributor, couldn't you raise the level of the excellence in the group that you're in? And this can really correlate into any group, as I thought about it, in the church. A lot of times when we go, my wife has said this to me for 10 years now, a lot of times when we're part of an organization, we can point out the things, like we're at a Christian school, we can point out the things that we wish were different. And we can sit around and talk about them, complain and committee eyes all over that. We can consume all that they are doing and talk about it, or we can get involved and make a difference. We can contribute to what's going on in that organization. So today, I'm not asking you to have seven children. We are hanging on to the fact that our children are moving from consumer to contributor. I wanted to ask you, where do you stand in each of the organizations that you're a part of? And if you're not a contributor, why not? What could you do more of to be a contributor? Again, this is Tad Holford with Rise Up in Real Estate.